place her family is nobody's business but hers, and certainly not yours. And who the hell are you to go into her home and accuse her of using people? Oh, I can't stand this, Jack. Brooke is not the grieving little widow she pretends to be. She has lied through her teeth to everyone in this town about, about the father of her, her poor little baby. And, and Tom, sweet, naive oh, Tom. Oh, just hold it. Tom was not Brooke's dupe. Tom went into this with his eyes wide open. He knew exactly what was going on. All Tom is guilty of is trying to help a friend. Erica. Oh, please. I mean, Brooke lured him to the altar with promises of, of a perfect little family dangling in front of his nose. And Tom, being the, the simple, sweet man Tom is, Tom believed her. It's amazing. It's amazing how you can take the facts of an event and twist them so that they support this, these, these, these hidden little agendas of yours. Well, fine. That's all right. Okay. You paint me the villain and Brooke plays the martyr. That's fine. That's okay. Guess what? This is not the first time. I'm used to it. Every time Brooke wants something, she tries to use some man to get it. Be very careful. I'm telling you, be very, very, very careful. Okay, you think about this. Every time she wants something, right? A little cushy job, uh, a name on a birth certificate, some surrogate father. What does she do somehow? She puts those dubious charms of hers into overdrive and lures some other poor sap into her dangerous I'm liaison. You, one more word about Brooke, and I'm going to take you and I'm going to turn you over my knee and I'm going to spank you into the middle of next week. Do you hear me? You wouldn't dare. Try me. Well, I am hurt. I really am. I mean, the only reason I even went to Brooke in the first place is I was trying to do you a favor. A favor? <laughs> yes, ha, ha, a favor. I mean, I went to Brooke because I was afraid that maybe because I left my ring in your bedroom, that just might have bollocked things up for you. You know, Erica, this, 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 is, this is almost convincing. The, the, almost? Yes, you see, it's only almost convincing because I've seen your entire repertoire. I've seen every act you put on, and I've seen how well they usually work. This is no act. Yes, and pigs, and pigs have little pink wings. What, what are you talking about? Why? Why? I have seen the backbreaking competition. I have seen the endless manipulation. I have seen the utter annihilation of anything or anybody that gets in the way of what, what you, you want. What are you talking about? I am talking about the fact that there is very little under this sun that Erica King would not do to achieve her goal. Okay. And what, pray tell, is this fabulous goal that I am willing to kick, kill, and, and fight, and, and steal for? Me. That head that is so funny. It's a real, genuine miracle. Yes, it is. I remember the night this child was born. <laughs> Well, it's not a night that I'll soon forget. Yeah, well, you never do forget that, having your babies. I remember Jenny and... and Caddy's Jane. Jamie. You named this kind of sweetness after his daddy, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, he's got his head in smile. <laughs> oh, and you said Ted had the same little lock of hair right here in front like that when he was my husband. <laughs> would you like to hold him? Oh, would I? <laughs> Come here. Come here, little boy. Yeah, yeah I got somebody. Who wants to meet you? There. Aren't you just the preciousest, most darling thing in the whole wide world? Yeah. 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 Oh, this is rich. I mean, this is really rich. I have seen egos of monumental proportion in my lifetime, but this ego trip of yours, this is really first-class, plush red carpet all the way. Well, allow me to bring you back to Earth. I have never even dreamed of trying to rekindle what you and I once shared. And for your information, after this nasty attack on me, you have erased every possibility of that ever, ever occurring. 
I mean, I had thought that, that possibly, just possibly, you might be adult enough to build a friendship out of this mess. I mean, that's all I wanted. Just a, a simple, civilized adult friendship. But no, I should have known that that was beyond you. Hi, Aunt Lucy. No, you shut up. You had your turn. Now it's my turn. It is clear to me that the in Montgomery is back. That horrible, disgusting egotist who thinks that he is God's gift to women. Well, sorry. Sorry to inform you. Here's a flash. Not every woman who smiles at you or offers you a civil word or a kind gesture has fallen madly, truly, deeply in love with you and wants to reel you in. Get over it, Jack. Stop being so conceited and just grow up. Message received. Love. Well, good. And all you want to do is just be friends, is that right? That's all I want. That's fine. As long as you know that nothing else is possible. As if I wanted anything else to be possible. Hear me now. Brooke and I are involved. We are together. And nothing you can do or say is going to change that. I don't want to change that. I'm happy for you. Jack, you must admit, if there's anything I know about, it's relationships. You and Brooke have one. Great. I don't want to do anything to spoil that. I'll be Brooke's maid of honor. I'll throw rice at the church if that's what you want me to do. That is, if you're engaged. Wait. No, not, not, not formally, no. No. Oh? Don't you worry. When we are, you will be the first person that we call. Well, peachy, great. Okay, is that all you came over here to tell me? Yeah, yeah, I think that just about covers it. Yes. Well, fine, then why don't you just stop pawing the ground and preening over the size of your antlers? This is a place of business. I'm very glad we had this chance to uh, clear things up. What? Erica, that was a magnificent performance. You have taken the art of lying to new heights. You deserve a wing in the Smithsonian. So inventive. Eavesdropper. A simple, civilized adult friendship. That was priceless. Oh, you are despicable. Oh, when our view is privacy, you want, you should learn not to drag your affairs of the heart into the workplace. This is not an affair of the heart. And not that it's any of your concern, but since you listened, I'll tell you something. Every word I said to Jack Montgomery was true. <laughs> well, come on, come on, keep going. This is hilarious. No, I swear it. Oh, yes. Cross my heart and hope to die. Erica, you want Jack back so badly you can taste it. Jack Montgomery is the last man on earth that I would be interested in. He is totally arrogant. He is so self-righteous, I can hardly believe it. Well, of course he is. Of course he is. That's why you're so perfect for each other. <laughs> hardly. Adam, we were in here. We were fighting tooth and nail. Oh, that curtain raiser I just witnessed was magnificent. I can't wait for the all-singing, all-dancing finale in which Jack croons to you from the altar. Oh, there is not going to be any finale because this is not a performance to get back Jack. Come on, please. You were, you're borrowing material from the stage. The Forgotten Ring. Oh, that's a, that's a wonderful ploy. But, and it's not nearly as trite as the lipstick or the collar of the dropped handkerchief. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I didn't ruin your second act, did I? Oh, just wipe that Cheshire grin off your stupid what, face. What? How about a little preview? What's next in store for poor Montgomery? Oh, I'll that. I venture to say another romantic dinner with Brooke. And baby makes three. No, 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 no. That, that, that couple is doomed to failure. With or without your help. Well, I don't care what you think. But if you think that I'm going after Jack so, just so you can have another crack at poor, tired old Brooke, forget it. I mean it, forget it. All kidding aside, Erica, I, told, I meant it when I said Brooke and I were over and done with. Oh, and you call me a liar. No, seriously, Erica. She's given me the boot more times than I can count. Oh, and it finally made an impression? Yes, it has. 
And I don't like it, but I've learned to, to accept it. When Jack and Brooke do break up. If they break up. Fine. If they break up. Brooke's not about to give me a second chance. And I'm not about to ask for one. Oh, and of course I believe you. <laughs> well, you'll see. And I still wish you luck with Jack. I don't need <laughs> luck. I don't want luck. I don't want Jack. You want Jack, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Hello, sweetheart. Mm, I'm glad to see you. Well, where's my sumptuous lunch? Your lunch. Uh, I'm sorry, Erica made me so damn mad that I forgot all about the food. Oh, I see. Uh, Opal's here. Hi, Opal. Well, howdy, hi. Howdy, ho. Oh, that boy is just something else. You oh, know, yeah. he was just trying to say Opal over there. I'm sure of well, it. I think I saw him. One for the absolute books. Oh, I'm you sure. said a mouthful, didn't you? Well. Fish got to swim and I got to fly. <laughs> well, Jamie and I enjoyed your visit. Oh, thank helpful. you so much for letting me see him. And next time, remind me to bring my camera. I don't know what I was thinking of. Okay. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye bye. So, uh, what did Erica do with my lunch? Brooke, why didn't you tell me that Erica came by with a little visit from hell with all the trimmings? <sighs> What's to tell? You know, she does this periodically. She gets bored, she comes over, she calls me names, and then she leaves. Yeah, but honey, this time she dragged Jamie and Tom into it, and I... I this is just not the way things should be, you know? I wish Tom hadn't said anything. I don't. But for your information, I think I've taken care of Erica. Was there bloodshed? No, no, but I do think I settled her hash. <laughs> I think Erica's hash is long past being settled. Well, let's just say I did the best that I can. Oh, Jack, you know, I am more than capable of taking care of the great and powerful Erica Kane. I've had a lot of practice. Yeah, more's the pity. Uh, I think, though, that uh, the reason that I took care of it myself was because she made me so damn mad that I had to let off some steam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has that effect. Yes, she does. As a matter of fact, I got about this close to turning her over my knee and spanking her. Oh. Well, I guess I took care of that for you. You what? Well, I mean, I didn't have her over my knee, and my hand landed somewhere north of her fanny. Well, you slapped Erica? <laughs> she wanted to take me to court. I wouldn't worry too much about that. I mean, if Erica was taken to court on assault charges every time she slapped somebody, she'd be spending life in prison somewhere already, so... Well, I thought I was going to have to call you to defend me. Would have been the easiest case I ever had. We would have based our defense on irresistible provocation. Uh-huh. Certainly easy enough to prove. All I'd have to do is lock her in the judge's chambers with him for about 15 minutes, and if he could resist belting her, I'd be surprised. <laughs> I don't know. He might not be able to resist her. No, dear, you. You are the only one who is irresistible around here. <laughs> Well, so much for irresistible? No, 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 not that at all. Mm. It's just that there's something else that I took care of with Erica, and I think you should know about it. I uh, told her in no uncertain terms that anything other than a casual friendship between she and me was absolutely impossible. And did she take that well? With her usual good grace, yes. I'm glad. No, oh, I hope that would make you happy. I don't want to talk about her anymore. I second the motion. And I'm hungry. You are? Well, honey, it's a little bit late for lunch. Well, what do you have in the fridge? Well, formula. <laughs> formula? Well, I could whip up a formula omelet, I guess, but I, there's I'm not much. I'm starving. You are? Well, yeah. if you're starving, I will get food. Well, that wasn't the only thing that I wanted. Oh? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I see. How about delivery? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Pizza. <laughs> For two? Yeah. Very romantic, mm -hmm. isn't it? A slice of pizza, some baby formula, a sleeping child, mm -hmm. and thou. Uh, 